fuck it. Yeah. I'm all about the chicken, call me Popeyes. Oh, no. What's going down, people? We got some new news. Aries Spears speaks out for the first time. Um, He gives us certain details to show how this is just a shakedown. And I want to bring it to y'all, obviously. So we can hear both sides, meaning Tiffany and Aries, and what the family might be doing because they did it previously. So um, with that being said, let's get straight to the to the video. I know this is a very serious matter, so I'm trying to keep you updated with everything. All right, with that being said, let's get into it. This is an extortion case. Uh, this is a shakedown. Uh and I didn't need my lawyer to tell me this, to say this, but, you know, I'm going to echo her words. We won't be shaken down. Um, and believe me, it's bothering me not to talk about uh, the skit. Because um, Annie and I have been talking about it. And there's some very valid things I feel like I have to say or want to say, uh, but just can't at this time. Um, and I'm no coward. Uh, I'm not running from anything and I'm not guilty of anything. It's the reason why I won't turn my mentions off on my um, Instagram. It's the reason why, you know, um, you know, I'm not deleting any of my old posts, um, you know, and I would love to address it head on. Tony Montana, Scarface, balcony scene, shooting a thousand Colombians. Uh, but I can't cleaning me to do so because I'm a fighter. I'm not a runner. Uh, and, uh, my character's being assassinated. Um, again, I, I, I want to address the skit especially, uh, but I just can't. Uh, there was a woman who hit me up on Instagram and she wrote me, Hey Aries, if you need my help regarding the, and she also mentions the person's name who's trying to shake us down as much as I want to expose that, I won't say her name either. Uh, but she goes, if you need my help regarding the blank situation, have your legal team reach out to me. I've known this person for over 35 years. They're a huge scammer. I can prove it to you. Uh, here's my number. I will be able to assist you. And I will say this. if You you can even dig up the history yourself. But this person has a history of these false accusations uh, saying that they've been raped. They even once blamed the whole entire San Bernardino Police Department for allegedly uh, fondling her and her children at the same time in the same house. Pitch it at an entire police department. Come on, man. And what's killing me is, you know, all the people hit me up. At no point there's a little bit of, you know, common sense or red flags or any. You just whatever man people are just running with this and it didn't help with the lizzo thing so uh i'm having a bad week uh but it'd be what it be so again thank you to the people that support love standing by me i love y'all back uh now let's have a podcast well you heard that piece of information people this is crazy if the family do this on the regular. He said it was, they accused the whole precinct of fondling, well, the mother accused the whole precinct of fondling her and her two kids. That's crazy. <clears throat> if this is true and they actually scam people, I could see why they would pick Tiffany and obviously he was there, so he would have to be underneath the, the bus as well. Hopefully they get to the bottom of it real short, because this is definitely um, making certain people look at these two people, meaning Tiffany and Aries, as yeah, full-blown pedophiles that had kids doing weird acts and saying it was a skit for them to be in a TV show of Nickelodeon. That's one thing I don't understand. Like Doug McDuffster, he breathe, he breathes us up on everything, but I had questions. Like, 
that wouldn't need to be acted out, meaning fellatio on a subway if we going to Nick, you know what I mean, Nick Jr. or the Disney. Oh, yeah. Yes, we're talking about the tales and, and, and what we heard that kids have to actually do for the owners in Nick Jr. or, or the Disney Channel. That's the only way I could see that being performed, meaning the fellatio, and of course it's not right, the fellatio and all that stuff. What we hear about these kid networks is back in the day they had to do something strange. So who knows at this point what was really going on until all the evidence is presented to all of us. Because now ours is horned in until this subject and I feel like it's not going to go away until everything is settled. And we're st it's still going to be a high percentage that look at Tiffany and Aries as pedophiles because they was in these skits. No matter if you're grooming them for Nick and the Disney, you know, no matter what, we're still going to look at y'all in a certain light. And it's fucked up if it's not true because this lady done tarnished y'all name. And that's, she seems like she has no money, that she's trying to get money, so there's no way to sue if y'all do prove that she's lying. And it's, it's just a, a sad situation, especially if these people are innocent and they did it for that. I just don't know why the fellatio on the subway hero Back in those days, I'm pretty sure Jared was, Jared from Subway was doing weird shit to kids. And Subway sandwich, fellatio, I don't know. I hope it wasn't a skit about that. They already said it was mother and lattice and that's, a, that's through the eyes of a, of a pedophile. So I'm not, I'm still confused. I will give y'all more information as we go along. I hope y'all stick with me. Thanks for the views. And with that being said, we out of here. Thanks again.